Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing? Today we're gonna play with the new Glamlight Wine Palette. I have this one in the Dirty Martini Palette I've been meaning to do videos on, and I just thought I would start off with the wine today, specifically because I feel like the color story matches my sweater pretty well, and I thought it would be like a cute matching moment. I love a good matching moment when it comes to what I'm wearing, especially sweaters and makeup. So this is what we're playing with today. I mean, it is a really beautiful like purple, pops of pastel, a little bit of blue, a little bit of like raspberry -esque shades. We've got, you know, a pop of gold, which that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a topic for another day. <laughs> but I'm just excited to go ahead and jump into this and see how the quality is. So in today's video, I'm going to do some live swatches, do an eye look, and then I'll kind of give you my thoughts at the end. I feel like I'm forever searching for the perfect purple palette. So hopefully this one is at least in the running. I hope. <laughs> So let's just go ahead and jump on in. Right, so the first shade that we have is called Aroma and woo, that's pigmented. Very creamy purple. We've got Napa, which is a super sparkly kind of blue purple moment. Looks really, really pretty. And then we've got Malbec, which is another bright purple. Those two actually don't look that far off from one another. Okay. I feel like on first touch, the mattes are feeling similar to the Glam Light Michaela palette, but that shimmer looks stunning. And next we have the shade Fine Taste, which is a very like lavender, matte, light purple. We've got Sparkling, which is a really pretty, more like burgundy shimmer. And then we've got Earthy, which is more of like a lilac pastel matte. Next we have Pinot Noir, which I guess is kind of like an orchid shade. We've got Concord Grape, which is a mid-tone, kind of true purple. And then Magnum. I feel like a lot of the like matte purples so far like are feeling kind of one tone. Okay, so we've got this one, which is a little different. The shimmer is pretty, but then this one. I feel like it looks a little bit too close to this shade. Next we have Cabernet Sauvignon. <laughs> I feel like that's so wrong, but it is a like indigo, I would say. Kind of in between a blue and a purple, but a little bit more blue than purple, but not enough to not be purple at all. <laughs> and then we have Chardonnay, which is a gold. I don't know why this is in this palette. I mean, it's pretty, but I just feel like there's a missed opportunity for a really light iridescent purple that I think would have added so much more to this color story. Then we've got Fruity, which is another really pretty sparkly kind of blue purple shade. It actually reminds me a bit of Moontide from Terra Moons, but maybe not quite as special. I mean, the shimmers look really nice. Lastly, we've got Pour It Up. Another kind of bright pinky purple. Merlot, which is a deep kind of pink red. And then Vintage, which is the deepest purple. All right. So there's everything swatched out. I feel like it looks pretty but there's like several matte shades that I wish there was a little bit more variety. I don't know. I mean, I feel like this is like the conversation I have with Glam Light palettes all the time. Normally the quality is pretty good. Normally the shimmers are amazing and it's a fun color story, but it doesn't always match like what I think the color story should be like for a wine palette. This does not scream wine to me. And I don't know, I just would have done it a little bit differently, but it doesn't look bad by any means. I just wish there was like one lighter shimmer, especially to go along with the light pastel shades. I feel like that would have been a nice addition. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the shade Fine Taste. Just gonna throw that through my crease. Okay, well the pigmentation looks really nice right off the bat and then just blending upwards a little bit more. That actually did pretty good for a pastel shade. I feel like it looks pretty opaque. This next I'm gonna go ahead and go into the shade Aroma. I'm just starting that off in the outer V. Just 
slightly buffing that out and then bringing that through my crease. Mm. And I feel like that almost just blended into nothing. Okay, let's go in with a little bit more. Do that process again. See, it looks so pigmented right there. I feel like it just sheared out a lot. I have to say, like I said initially, just feeling the shadows that the mattes feel like the Michaela palette, which is not necessarily my favorite matte formula. I preferred the mattes in Glam Light palettes that were before that one. So I got that built up a little bit. I'm kind of curious to go into the matte shade that was super close to Aroma just to see how much of a difference it really makes. So I think that was the shade Magnum right here I'm gonna use next and just do the exact same thing. I just wanna see. I mean, it has like the smallest difference in tone, but you could barely tell. Definitely could have done something more between having those two shades in my humble opinion. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and go into the shade Vintage just to deepen this up a little bit. Just kind of patting that in my outer V and I'll just go ahead and flip my brush around and just blend that out. I just feel like the purples are all too similar, honestly. I don't know, I don't know if I'm just being picky today or what but it's just not making my heart feel the joy that I thought it was going to. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and take this shade Concord Grape for my lower lash line. Just picking up a little bit of that. And I'm gonna bring that about halfway through, which that is super, super pretty. And then for the inner half, I'm gonna go into the shade Sparkling, which again, looks so pretty. The texture on the shimmers is just stunning. Like, dang, look at that. I want to use something from the palette on my inner corner, but I just feel like there's nothing quite light enough. I think I'm just going to go ahead and go into the ColourPop Orchid You Not. And I'm going to use this shade of all the purple on the inner corner because I think that'll go well. So just picking up a bit of that and just throwing that right here. So for my lid, I'm torn between using Fruity and Napa. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do a little bit of Fruity first and then go into Napa if I need it. Let's see, I'm going to use my finger and just tap that on the front half of the lid. Oh no! So much fallout. Dang it. I mean, okay, yeah, I'm going to go into a bit of Napa. Just use that on the outer half. That definitely has a bit more shine to it. A little extra some something. I'm going to go ahead... Just try to wipe away all this extra fallout. I would say I'm not hating the look, but I'm not loving it either. I'm gonna use the Nabla Cupid's Arrow Number no. 3 liner in my waterline. I'm gonna use the Makeup Geek Mascara, and I'll be right back. So to finish off this look, I think I'm gonna go into the Sydney Grace Pink Lightning Highlighter. I might even take just a tiny bit of that and pop it over my inner corner just for a little bit more brightness. Then of course, throwing that on my cheekbones. I wiped off my brush completely and I'm just going over the edge real quick because I was just looking and I was like, I feel like it could be a little bit softer. And then for lips, I'm just going to go into Fenty Sweet Mouth. So this is the finished look and I feel like I definitely have some thoughts. I would say overall, it feels like the mattes blended all right. The shimmers look pretty, but... I don't know that I am in love with this palette, and I think it honestly just is the color story. I don't know that you would know just from looking at it in the palette, because in the palette it looks like there's like some more differences and whatnot, and it just looks super cute. But I feel like on the eyes, it's just a little bit too one-toned. I think that's my biggest issue, because I'm looking at this eye look, and I went in with so many different shades, and it looks like I could have done this look with two shades three max. Like it looks so simple. So yeah, I'm unfortunately not in love. I don't know that it is a contender for the perfect purple palette. There's so many different things I would have changed here. I would say if you love the color story, the quality is decent, 
but I'm not loving the matte formula change from Glam Light. These do feel a little bit more creamy to the touch, but they're also just a little bit more powdery. I feel like they don't stick and like buff in the eyes as well. Like they're just a little bit more like kind of formula. I don't know if that even makes sense. But yeah, I mean, I feel like I definitely need to play with it more, but overall first impression, I would give it like a C minus. So that's everything for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.